this is a very important video and in this video we will talk about two very important keywords in c sharp programming language one of them is mostly used in almost all the applications and this is something that you will always always use these keywords are where and the dynamic in this video we will talk about what exactly is this where and dynamic keyword these are two different keywords the purpose of this where is different and the purpose of dynamic is also different we will understand what is the use of both of them also what is the difference in between both of them so first i will start the learning with this where keyword the where is basically a keyword which we can write by using this v a r and c over here in the intelligence you can see this where is a keyword so what exactly is this where this where is something that works on the compile time and you can put any kind of value in this where the way of declaring the where type variable is same just like we have done for all the types for example here i'm having this name that's it but if you are using the where keyword then it is always required to assign the value while you are declaring it for example here i'm having this 10 now just focus on this concept by default this where keyword does not have any type but once you will assign the value then it gets the type because we are assigning an integer value it means the type of this name variable is integer automatically if i will hover my mouse over here you can see i'm having this int keyword and this is the reason that we have to define the value of this variable while declaring it this was not the case with other built-in types for example if here i'm having this name one in the next line i could have assigned the values like this but if you are using the where keyword it is always required to assign the values if i will remove it then you can notice we will get the error and the error is implicitly typed variable must be initialized the variable name is declared but it is never used this is a warning but the main error is that you must assign the value while you are declaring it now let's assign the value of 10 over here and i'm gonna remove this integer type now this name variable will work just like the normal integer data type it means here i can update the values for example this is the value it will work i can also update some more values for example this 10 plus 20 and i can also do that that this name is equals to name plus 10 this name will behave just like the normal integer type if i will display this value on this console dot right line method let's run this application you will notice we are getting the proper output over here right but if you will try to assign some different value for example in this name i want to assign this netis then you can notice i'm getting the error at the compile time why because this where keyword is working just like the integer and we cannot assign the string value in this name variable now if i want to assign some string value as well then i can create one more so for example here i'm having this where a is equals to this time i'm putting my name this time this a variable will work just like the string data type if i will hover my mouse you will notice we are having this string a so whatever is applicable for the string will be applicable for this a variable and you can use this where keyword without any problem in your application there will not be any kind of performance issue and there will not be any kind of data loss as well because this where keyword works at the compile time ultimately you will get the performance that you are getting with the integer type the same thing will work over here with this where keyword right you can define any kind of type in this where keyword you can also create let's say it is b and here i want to create the character this will also work for example if i want to create one more where over here and in this one this time i want to assign one object see this is also working fine if i'm writing the first there is no problem the only requirement is that you must define the value of this variable while you are declaring it otherwise this will not work and you can also use this where keyword while you are getting some values from a method for example here we are having this nitis in this a and this time if i will apply some operations for example this let's say d and in this d i'm having this a dot substring and in the substring let's put one see there will not be any kind of error what is the type of this d variable the type is this string and it will work just like it was working earlier if i will apply some different method for example this is split and in this is split if this time i will split the value on i then you can notice we are getting it as the array of an string if i will convert this string to character array by using this method then you can notice the type of this d is this time array of characters so this is very simple and very important concept in csr programming language 
on the other hand if i talk about the dynamic keyword let's comment this line and let's remove this name as well let's cut it and put on top of everything so let's talk about the dynamic keyword the where keyword works at the compile time on the other hand the dynamic keyword works at the runtime it means you will not get any kind of error at the compile time so for example here i'm using this dynamic keyword and in the dynamic keyword let's say i'm writing this name and just putting the comma you will not get any kind of error because this type will be resolved at the runtime based on the value it means we can assign the value to this name variable or not if i'm not assigning then there is no problem if i'm assigning then again there is no problem right so the current value of this name is 10 but in the next line if i'm assigning this name is equal to let's say nitis then this will also work and on the console write line if i will display this value let's run it you will see we are getting this nitis value on the console screen and there is no error if i comment this line so what i'm having is i'm having only this dynamic name variable and in this name variable the current value is this 10 if i run this application this time you can notice we are getting 10 on the output screen if i'm using this name is equals to let's say it is true run this application then this time you will notice that on the console screen we are getting the boolean value which is true but if you will recall one concept from the previous video which was object this is working similar to the object over here we were also able to assign some values to the object type and we were also displaying the value on the console screen and the important part was that we were able to assign any kind of value in that object variable so what is the difference in this object and the dynamic both these object and the dynamic works at the runtime the main difference is that in the object type we were able to get some values at the compile time but here in this dynamic keyword nothing will be available at the compile time what does it mean it means if i'm having this object type let's say it is abc and in this abc the name is this nitis this is the name which is dynamic and i'm having one more variable of type string let's say it is a and in this a if i will assign this abc then you will notice we will get the error on the other hand if in this a variable i will assign this name which is dynamic then you will notice that we are not getting any kind of error this time but if i will run this application you will notice we are getting an error now this time it is saying that we cannot convert the boolean type to the string what is the latest value in this name dynamic it is true and the system is saying that you cannot assign this true to this string type for example if i'll just comment this line and try to run this application this time this time you'll notice it is working why because the type of this name this time is this nitis and we are assigning this nitis value which is a string in this string type so ideally this is working like this and also we can use this dynamic keyword to store the response of any kind of method for example we were having these methods this two character array and this was returning something and we were storing the value in this variable d we can also use the dynamic keyword always over here now let's talk about a very important discussion should we use these where and dynamic keywords in our application or not so i would suggest to use this where keyword anywhere as much as you can there is no problem in that because there is no performance issue the no runtime error everything is safe in this where keyword but in this dynamic nothing is safe if you have missed something in this dynamic type then you won't be able to get that error at the compile time and it is always better to get all the errors at the compile time and fix them let's try this with an example i'm just removing this object this string as well and in this name this time you will notice i'm having this string value and if i will try to implement this substring method over here and in this substring i'm passing one did you notice one more very important thing over here we were not getting the intelligence why because the system is not aware about the type of this name there could be anything in this name if i will try to run this application you will see we are getting the proper value because the type of this name was nitis by any chance if i'm just commenting this line and run this application again this time you will notice we are getting the error why because the value of this name is 10 and we are applying 10 dot substring it means we are applying int dot substring and this substring method does not work on the integer type it only works on the string type that is why it is not safe to use this dynamic keyword in your application and this is the main difference i hope the concept is clear if you are having any doubt make sure to ask in the comment section below thank you for watching have a great day